Hello and welcome to this Borderlands 2 Let's Play. I am joined in the multiplayer with Zoe. Hello! And we are going to have a look at the new class, the Necromancer, that I am currently playing. So you can't currently actually see the Necromancer. Well, Zoe can. I okay. can, and she's a little 12-year-old girl. Pretty much. So we're here to, uh, to see her abilities anyway, and see what she plays like, right? That's pretty much the plan. Um, so I'm I'm recording my Xbox Live uh, Xbox feed, and that's what this Let's Play is going to see. Uh, so I'm quickly going to bring up the skill tree to show this off. So the the first skill, the action skill, is to summon Death Trap. Uh, which is a giant floating robot. Uh, and he flies around and attacks things with digital claws. And you've got, as always, you've got three skill trees. You've got the best friends forever, little big trouble, and ordered chaos are the names of the three trees. So the first one is all sorts of about... Um, healing up and having a healthy uh, death trap and you and death trap can heal other members of the party you also get some funky skills like um, if you shoot close enough to an enemy there's a chance that your ricochet your bullets will ricochet and hit them anyway um, I've also got another cool one where I start to regenerate my health as long as my gun uh, my gun's fully loaded. Uh, and that sort of... That tree builds up to the point where... Um, the highest level ability in that tree is... Death Trap gains my shield. Uh, so whatever my shield is... Death Trap has it also. The middle tree is all about... Um, enhancing my Necromancer's skills with... Um, elemental damage. So it starts off giving me resistance to it and increasing my chances of giving it to other people. Uh, and then going up, it increases the damage that inflicts. And also, if I shoot a uh, death trap uh, with an elemental weapon at the highest level, he takes on that element. So he takes on fire or corrosive elements and then deals that out to enemies when they get attacked. And then the final one is all about just outright destroying everything. Uh, so it starts off by increasing reload speeds, uh, stacking anarchy on me uh, up to... Uh, gaining a set of claws in a similar style to um, Death Traps. So I'm currently level 7 and Zoe seems to have got bored and wandered off. Uh, so we're going to see if we can level up a little and see what my skills look like. He was pretty hardy, that guy. Um, so my my particular play style, I've gone for a um, sniper rifle and shotgun, so that I can deal damage over long distances and close hand close at hand if I get up close with people. But the sort of the idea is I really shouldn't be getting close to people. Um, 
she's really cool. Um, oh, and I just did. Um, I've currently only played her and uh, Zero, the ninja character. And they do play really differently. Uh, and I really like actually playing both of them because they've got really different uh, play styles, so it's not a case of, you know, there's a slight tweak between the two. Um, Zero sort of gets up in there and deals with things close at hand, uh, whereas the Necromancer Gage uh, takes sort of a back step and lets other people, whether it's other party members or um, Death Trap, get up close and personal and deal with things. I never really got into the first Borderlands. Um, yeah. Well, I got into I got into the first Borderlands really late on. I think it was one of those games that I'd always meant to pick up uh, and didn't get round to it for whatever reason. And then um, I saw it really cheap uh, last summer, uh, pre-owned. Yeah. And so I picked it up, and it felt like it really felt like a game that needed to be played multiplayer. Oh, definitely. And there was nobody at the time playing it, and so I just couldn't really get into it. It's been, yeah, it's definitely a, a co-op. You can play it on your own, but I, I wouldn't recommend it. I'd always play it at least for one person. Yeah. Uh, where are we meant to be going at the moment? I don't, I don't know. There's, there's two objective, objective points on the map. The three. Um, Let's go this way. Sorry. Oh, that one's... We want to go down to this one. Right, okay. I've put a... I don't know how that actually shows up on the minimap. We want to go to... We want to find some action. Oh, we go through that tunnel, I think. Yeah. Where you go? So I don't know what we're going to do with this, whether we're just going to put this whole thing up as a... <coughs> as a thing, or if we'll uh, edit it a little and drop bits out. We'll see how it goes, really. Yeah. Oh, while we're driving... I think I can... Oh, I can't. That's annoying. I was going to try and spend my skill point while we were driving, but I can't. Alright, before we go in there, I'm going to... Uh, drop, a, drop a skill point. So this is that bonus objective for the first mission. It's the uh, kill. Eight, I've killed eighteen of twenty bloodshots. Ow! Bully mongs. Yeah. 
You're right there, Zoe. Oh, you. Yes. Can you hear me? I can hear you. You appear to have dropped out of the party for some reason. I don't know if you've been disconnected. Oh, you still seem to be moving. Although not perfectly. It's possibly because we're trying to run Skype and um, Xbox Live at the same time. Okay, so we got we got three guys here still. Let me uh, let me summon the dude. So there goes Death Trap. Yeah, I've got no control over him. He just does his thing, and I can sort of continue to do whatever. He sort of hangs around for about a minute. And then it's another minute before I can summon him up again. Um. So he's really good to have around when you're, uh, dealing with these guys on your own. Although I have noticed at the moment at least it doesn't seem to count his kills as my kills. Because um, you're the commando, aren't you? Yeah. Uh, so you know how you've got your turret kills things while you're not controlling it? Yeah, yeah. That does count as your kill, so you can use it for second wins? Absolutely, yeah. Uh, that doesn't seem to be the case with the uh, Death Trap and the Necromancer. At least at the moment. I don't know if that's a uh, a bug they're trying to fix or or what really, but at least at the present he doesn't count for my second win. Which sounds like the worst in the world. <laughs> so that, that power's just... Um, come back now so I can summon him that quickly. So I mean if I can stay alive I could probably do him a couple of times in a boss fight. Summon up the uh, big cheese. Currently got a cut rate shield with a. Uh, that is weird. Um, I've currently got a cut rate shield with a capacity of 141. 141. Have you got something better around? Well, my shield. Actually, I'm, I might have just sold it. Hang on. Just check. I might have been That was weird as hell. I was stood in the. Um, the menu, and we killed everything off, and so Death Trap just comes back to float next to me, right. and he just like literally glided in through the menu. <laughs> Little bit disconcerting. Davis. So overall, then, uh, John, 
Yes. This Necromancer game, so is she a welcome addition or is it something they just added on? She's a nice, a nice new addition. She seems to be as fully realised as any of the other characters. Um, so it doesn't look like it's a case of they're gone. Um, there's the power queued up again, so I can now summon uh, Death Trap again. She seems like she's got a nice new mechanic, and sort of, she's a bit different from everybody else. Right. Um, but she, she was already on the disc, right? She wasn't... She was a fairly large download for on disc DLC. Um, I think she probably was mostly on the disc. Are you talking about the 200, the 200 meg patch they made? Uh, well, to download Macromancer was about 350 to get her playable. Oh, really? Oh, crap. Uh, so, I mean, I think she was. Probably mostly on the disc. Um, crap. Um, I think that was our car. A bully mong just picked something up and threw it at me that looked like a car. And I'm nearly dead. Oh, that's cool. I can actually see my health regenerating now. Oh, you must have a good... Uh... Which is another world, well, no, um, I've got it's one of my perks is as long as my ammo clip is full, um, my health regenerates. Oh, it's nice. like a really tiny amount, but it's something as long as I've got a full clip of ammo, it ticks up a little bit at a time, and then I can obviously level that skill up. 